Hello, so welcome, you're probably new here, and if you are, you know, like an alpha player, a new person, not a pre-alpha, then this video is mainly for you guys, you know, to get you in the game, to get you good, you know, get those ranks up, you know, and get that skill up. Alright, so... You, you probably enter the game, you, you finish the tutorial, and you land over here. And that's basically where you wanna be when watching this video, because I'm not really gonna teach you too much about the base mechanics in the tutorial. Well, I will, but not as much. Basically, you'll probably learn everything in the tutorial already, so it's just kinda pointless for me to explain everything again. But if you do wanna read about them, you should go you should click tab, you should go to the net, and then you should enter this, uh, this, uh, what, the link. So basically, 98.411.0 slash codex slash home uh, dot gtms. And basically, it will open up this, um, website right here, and it will show every single mechanic that there is. Except, I mean... It's not gonna show every single one, but it's gonna show like the core mechanics kind of that are implemented into the game. So yeah, you can just read about them uh, on every every single one, just uh, learn more about them if you want to. So we can begin with the first thing that you will probably and 100% will do, and it's probably just go explore anywhere. So once you, once you join in and you want to explore, you won't really have any mechanics, you won't have long jump, you won't have wall boost, you won't have chaining, uh, and like drop down, sliding, you won't really have anything. So what I recommend is just, I mean, you can't really do anything else, just run around, explore the map, uh, start remembering places, maybe remember some time trial spots, because you know, knowing spots of time trials will always be nice so yeah that's basically the first thing that you will do and you want to do because you will learn the map you will learn uh cool gaps and of course this is just a downtown uh up west there is derwick as well so to level up if you click tab right here player you will see your level right here and a percentage of how much you've uh you know progressed into that level to the next level i guess so i'm on 85 percent if i do like like, I don't know, like, 50 moves, I will get, like, 0.1% because I'm a high level. It's it's progressively harder. But the first 20 levels, it should probably take you, like, 2 or 1... About 1 to 3 hours to get. So, it's not that hard. But I do have some tips for leveling up. So, the number one tip that I will give you definitely is... Look, at the, look for these things. These things, I believe, give a pretty good amount of XP... For, uh, like, the first few levels, I guess. So, basically, how you know that you can get XP from them is, I think it will be green for you. That Those are the ones that you have not synced to. And if they're blue, like, this is blue, up there is blue, this one's blue, you've synced to them, it won't give you XP, it'll just put your spawn there. The next one is, believe me or not, it is not combos. Combos are actually unlocked at level, like... 12 or something it's you don't immediately have them so don't worry if you notice that so basically it's time trials you get a good amount of xp per metal i believe so like bronze metal will probably give you i know you know the lowest amount silver more gold more and platinum the most you know so i would recommend you going to do this time trial right here uh, if you find this location, that's where you drop down, you just come up here, there's a spawn block, and there's a time trial right here, and it's called Glass. I recommend you do this time trial first, because this is the most uh, starter friendly. Platinum is extremely easy here, if you unlock long jumping, you can easily get uh, Platinum. So if I after boost once, uh, I chain there on accident, but anyways, if I just run there basically, and just go to the finish platinum is 14 seconds that was sub 12 seconds and that would probably give you like a couple levels at like the starting levels and also how resings work is basically if you don't have a terminal uh anywhere 
close to you, there will be a little icon right here. I have none. If I click R right now to sync to a checkpoint, I sync to this right here. And if I reset, and I believe, uh, yes, if I reset, I click R and I will respawn at this checkpoint. And there you go. It's, it's basically like that. It's very simple. But if you do want to uh, grind some time trials and get your XP like that, I am addicted to time trials. Uh, I would recommend them because they are one of the main uh, kind of... It's kind of like a free course. You learn a lot of things each time trial. Like from Glass right here, if you do it, you will... Okay, if, if you're level 20 plus, you will most likely learn how to actually chain and... Then you move up to crystal over there, and that's when you learn to do like six chains, like co consecutive chains. And then there's like different ones that like teach you how to womp. Well, don't teach you, but you have to basically womp to get good times. Then the other ones have like static chaining, so it's kind of like uh, they're very good. It's like free training courses that you can just take and boom get good okay so i mentioned a little bit in uh, this video uh the terminals uh basically they are like legacy spawns if you find a terminal it has a radius around it and basically in that radius if you're in that late radius wherever you die you will respawn in the latest location basically all right so next thing that i want to explain is momentum and yes, you can also read about it in the codex. So what momentum is, it's basically when you run, you will see this blue bar up here. And the higher the bar is, the more filled up it is. I will have, well, more speed, more momentum. But this doesn't only include just running or walking. This also includes how, f how far you jump with a long jump, how uh, high you can climb with a wall climb, and basically almost everything that's a very fast way to explain it but there's also the red one right here you can see i have the red one after let's say a long jump that is basically temporary uh bar so if you fill that up which is much easier to fill up you will have max momentum right now i basically have a hundred percent momentum but and also my bar my blue bar is also filling up so you know, it's kind of just like temporary, like um, kind of flow-ish mechanic thing. So that's basically what red and blue mean. So red is temporary and blue is the permanent one. And you know, the kind of real one. Okay, this is probably going to be the last thing that I mentioned in this video. And it's fall stabilizing or while well, surviving massive falls from pads. At in the pre-alpha right now, the players at like level 70 still don't know how to do it or well are very bad at it. So I want to show you guys how to do it and that you don't miss it because it's not mentioned anywhere really. So right here, for example, I am on a crane and there is a pad down there. If I were to jump into it, I were I was going to I'm just going to die. I'm going to splatter and die. But how to survive it is you have to click well hold shift and space when you're falling and when that is you your character won't be spinning he will just be like kind of gliding and when you hit the pad when you're about to hit the pad you release that uh, space and shift and you click shift again so here's a demonstration basically i hold shift and space release and sp shift again and that is pretty much it for the beginner tutorial or guide i guess uh, there's not much you can do in the beginner section. Well, there is a lot, actually. There is a massive amount, but uh, I'm kind of not into it anymore. I'm more into advanced stuff. I'm more into, like, One Piece and stuff. So, you know, I'm going to be making a advanced guide, I guess, later on today and upload it, like, after pre-alpha releases, of course. So, you know subscribe leave a like do all the good stuff and uh you know so you don't want to miss the video turn on notifications it's just that easy and i uh, am yeah. uh see ya